Finally tonight, Dolly Parton's longtime passion project passing on the gift of reading. The NewsHour special correspondent for education, John Marrow, has the story. Most of you are probably familiar with Dolly Parton, but to some, Parton is more than a country music star. Everywhere I go, the kids call me the book lady. She wants to read it now. The book lady? It's not surprising to these children. I love reading books. Reading is my favorite thing. My favorite was Tortoise and the Hay. No, David, and David goes back to school. Where did the books come from? Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton sent me the books. In 1996, Dolly Parton created what she calls the Imagination Library to send free books to homes like this one. I like this one because it reminds me of my grandma. If she hadn't had those books, she wouldn't have had anything until she started kindergarten. Madeline and her great-grandmother, May Lee Barker, live in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Maddie was a... She was very quiet when she was little because she just moved around so much. She would always either have to be with her mother or her father. And I think the books, she carried them with her a lot of times. I mean, that was hers. She had something that she could call hers. Um, the little girl has a, a great imagine, imagination like me. She thinks of a monster. It's a green monster. Right here. And the granny tells her not to worry. We send these books to them in their little name, with their name on it. They look forward to going to the mailbox. This is theirs. This is mine. So I am going to either learn to read it, or I'm going to make somebody teach me how to read it. It all starts here at birth. At this hospital in her hometown of Sevier County, Tennessee, every newborn gets a free book. I've been here three and a half years at LeConte in the labor and delivery, and I have given probably 500 books to new moms. Laughed and laughed at Families in Sevier County can also sign up at the library. Each child receives 60 free books, one every month until age five. It really, really started out as a very personal thing for me, and it was uh, originally just meant for the folks in my home county because of my dad. There were not books in our house growing up, and my dad could not read nor write. It was a very crippling thing for him. My daddy was such a brilliant man. What started in one rural Tennessee county 17 years ago has spread to 1,400 communities across the United States, England, and Canada. Each affiliate raises money to pay for books and mailing, $2 each. The Imagination Library takes care of the rest, right here where it all began. Our belief was that oftentimes the most powerful things are the most simple things. David Dotson is president of the Dollywood Foundation. This international organization, with a $20 million budget, produces and distributes almost 700,000 books a month. I think what we are about is the emotional tie to books, that if children love something, they will continue to do it. Puff, puff, chug, chug with the little blue engine. Both of the girls are excellent readers, just ahead of where they should be in reading. Pick which one you want to read. I think it want? makes a big difference okay. when you have this huge library of books. There's so much to choose from. I, I don't know that we would be able to afford to buy all of those books for our children. And it's nice to know that we don't have to make that decision. We don't have to choose between a book and something else for the kids. It just, that just comes to our mailbox. I mean, you look to the right and then to the left, the value of reading to children is well documented. Kids who have books in their homes and are read to regularly are more likely to succeed in school. We can definitely always tell if a child's been read to at home. Their vocabularies are so much larger. Rebecca Smock teaches pre-K at Pigeon Forge Elementary School. But what do you use with a hammer? To nail. Nails, that's right. I think if you see if that literacy is a big deal at their house, then they're going to really they just kind of embrace that more when they come to school. They're ready for it. Where's he sleeping? In the flower. In the flower. Back through the years, I go wondering once again. The 
older I get, the more appreciative I seem to be of the book lady title. It makes me feel more like a legitimate person, not just a singer or an entertainer, but it makes me feel like I've done something good with, with my life and with my success. Dolly Parton's Imagination Library has now given children almost 50 million free books. One is only poor.